Hello everyone. Welcome back to My Diamond Addiction. This is Valerie and Taylor. And Taylor pulled a package out of the magical closet of things that need unboxing. I have no idea what's in it, so we're just going to go ahead, jump in, and find out. Mama, can I open it? Can I take all this off? After I get it cut, you can. Kind of interested to see what's in these. Wow, my cutting skills are amazing. I have to keep it down here. They can't see you unwrap it if you lift it up. Can you cut it this way? Cut it down this way. Ready? Set. Go. Now it's kind of easy. All right. Five D diamond painting. All right, let's get that out of here. Grandma, All right, so here's the box. Mm -hmm. Here's the box. It's kind of smushed a little bit. Yeah, because it's been under a lot of things. The magical closet of grandmas. <laughs> the magical closet of grandmas? Is that what we're calling that? And mine, too. Oh, those are your diamond paintings, too? All right. Here. Ready, set, pull. Oh, good job. All right. Whoa. Get my tripod again. I seem to be getting really good at that. Wait, it doesn't show you the picture. Oh, man. It doesn't show the picture, huh? Yeah. Well, I was going to make this. Oh, stop. See that? We have stray diamonds in here. Alright, so let's go for the toolkit. For the toolkit, we have uh, cheap tweezers, and I don't know what the heck that is. What is? That, right there. Yeah. We're going to open it and find out. What are you doing with those? Uh -huh. Here, do you want to put it in the tray? Yeah. This is. I yeah, I don't I, know. I don't know what that is. I think I Something. Found the that... Wax. Paint diamond painting pen. Stop moving things, please. Back up. Uh, diamond painting pen, cheap tweezers, blah, blah, blah. I think I found the one that busted open. Okay, you watch for strays and pick them up and put them right in there if you find them, okay? We had to have one, you know. We did have this happen before, huh? Yeah. So it's kind of fun. And to see all that sparkle. Alright, so I'm going to open this and see if I can get to the one that's broke open. I think I know. Because it's the only black. Like I think I know. Alright, so it's packaged like that. And then like... So. Wrapped around. Yeah, I'm sorry about the crinkles right now. We'll go through all these. I just want to... I see some. Taylor, just wait for a minute, please. Okay, we're going to pause and get this under control. Hold on. All right, we're back. We found the culprit. We put it in here. So, for this moment, because I still don't know what this picture even is, we're going to set those aside. And turn the canvas over. Ooh, it see looks it. like there might be a little bit of deep creasing, but not too awful bad in the back. It's on your side. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. It should go this way. Hold on, I gotta zoom this out a little bit. It keeps trying to zoom in. There we go. Okay. Can I do the stick card? Just wait a minute while I try to pull this off. It has been so long since I have done one of the unboxings from Magical Closet. But it's not anything like what I was going to say. It's been so long since I have done one of these 
opaque covers. Oh, see, I knew it. Dang it. And this is just like one great big long sticky piece. Taylor, stop trying to finish my sentences. It's not cut into strips or anything. It's okay. Move your butt. Okay, so there is the actual start. I need you to sit back here. The actual start of the eagle. Look up here in the viewfinder. You can see the eagle. Oh, yeah. Wait, who's this for? Okay, there's the eagle. Oh, this is going to be fun putting this back on. Okay, there's the eagle. That's about as far <clears throat> as I dare to take that off. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and pause again, see what information I can find about this picture, and uh, come back and see if we can finish doing this unboxing. Hold on. Okay, so I actually had to shut the video off, uh, go into my phone to figure out where this came from. Now I feel really bad. This was sent to me by Victoria's Moon for review. Uh, and I forgot to document it. So, Victoria's Moon, I'm so, so sorry. I'm now going to review the canvas that you sent me and asked me to review. That is just absolutely horrible. Um... This is a 50 by 75, um, 29 colors. I will insert the picture here of what it was, it's supposed to look like. And then here is this. So yeah, in the viewfinder, it looks really, really pretty. I can actually see it uh, through here too. And there's a lot of little lines, but they're not they're not rivers. This, I'm sure if I set it out, would come out. I am not seeing any, I'm not seeing any bubbles in the glue. Uh, just some folds. Keep in mind, this has been sitting in the closet for whew, four or five months now. So, I think it's in, it's in decent shape. Uh, the glue is sticky. It's double-sided adhesive. It comes out a bit past the edge of the canvas. Yeah. There you go. All right, so. Oh, let me see if I can get a clear view of the symbols here while I've got this open so I don't try to open and close this yet again. Oh yeah, the symbols are pretty. Alright, let's see if we can get the symbols up in here. Probably not, but we can try. Let's try the bottom section down here. I'm trying to move this around, but it's so big. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'll just take a picture of it. If that didn't work, I'll look at it in editing, and if that didn't work, I'll take a picture of it. But, I'm not seeing any, any symbol that's going to give me a hard time. Let me close this up a little bit, and I'll get a, bring the whole list of symbols over closer to the camera. Oh, look at that. I just happened to rip that in right, just the right spot to show you that. Okay. 
So if I can get this up here. Here are the symbols that are in it. Oh, there we go. I think that worked better. I don't know. I can't tell. Anyway, it looks like there's decent symbols in it. This thing is a big size. It is a square. Let's look at the canvas on the back. Yeah, see, most of those that look like hard creases have come out already. That one looks a little vicious. I'm going to go ahead and lift up this side because I lifted up the other side and straightened it out. Now let me see if I can lift up this side without ripping it. And I kind of did. I ripped it a little bit right there. All right, now let's see if that helps that crease come out of it a little bit. Yeah, that's, that right there is just fine. It's It'll go down. All right, so we take a look at these here drills and see what they look like. This should have 29 colors. So the way these are done is, it shows right there that that is... Uh, color 13, DMC number 730, and there is 56 grams, I guess, of drills in there. So we should have 29 colors. 12, oh look, here comes random black ones back out again. Okay. Four, there's number four. Number 12, and number 13, number 19, which is 919, number 25, and I'm looking at these drills, and these drills are looking great. I don't see knobbly bits, I don't see holes in them. They look really uniform. So far, so good. Uh, there's number 20, which is 938. And then number 10, which is 728. Number 6, which is 420. Number 9, which is 720. Number five, which is 414. Some of these are like really vacuum. They look like they were vacuum sealed in there. Uh, this is number seven, 436. 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. Number 28, 3864. Yeah, they look like they're decent drills. They actually look like they're really nice drills. Number one, which is 300. Number 23, 3776. 93. Oh boy, I've got 19, 20, 23, 28, 29. And here's number two, which is the 310, which is the ones that were broke open. It just has a little hole down here in the bottom and they were it, they were seeping out a little bit. Looking closely at the 310, I'm not seeing an issue with the 310 either, which makes me happy. Okay, number 18, 898. 18. Number 11, 741. 10, 11, 12, 13. And number 21 is 977. 22 is 3770. Look at that. That's a big old fat bag of drills right there. 
24 is 3827. 23, 24. 17 is 782. Number 8 is 677. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. Number 14 is 745. Number 26 is 3854. Number 15 is 779. Number 29 is 3866. Where's 29? What is this one? 25 is 3828. 25, 26, oh, one of these should be 27. Let's see. There's number 27, 3863. These are really pretty drills. As I pick them up, I can see them. I can see them shimmering up there. Number three is 400. And number 16 is 780. So let's make sure we've got them all. One, two. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, there is all 29 colors. So, the drills were all included. Uh, the toolkit was included. The canvas is there. Let me see if I can find, there's that. All right, let's try to measure this and see how it measures to the 50 by 75. It actually tells you right up here that it's a 50 by 75, 29 colors, and this is probably the canvas number. Okay, so canvas starts right there, and now I've got to turn that over because I'm not on the centimeter side. Oh, and it ends right there. So that's right on 75. Right on 75, that's awesome. And then coming over this way, ends right there. It's right on the 50. So 50 by 75 is accurate. <coughs> 29 colors. The glue seems fine. The canvas seems fine. Let's go ahead and do an, an unboxing scoring. Okay. Accuracy of description. Easy to understand, clear and correct. I did just look it up. Here's what I here's what I do know. I didn't I didn't pay for this. This was sent to me for review. Um, it is one that slipped through the cracks, uh, and I apologize for that. But it is still available. I did look at that. Um, I know that they told me it was going to be 50 by 75. I know they let me pick the picture, um, and it does measure legitimately 50 by 75. It is the picture I ordered. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give them the point for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Processing time. I didn't order this. They just shipped it to me. Uh, I believe it was within a couple days of the email that I returned to them saying, yes, I would like this picture. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and get the point for that. The outside packaging... Uh, it was wrapped in the garbage bag type material and then in a box. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it made it from here to China without, or China to here without an issue. So they will get the point for that. Inside packaging. Uh, was it packaged with care and attention? It wasn't around a foam core, but I, I don't mind that so much. Uh, it was wrapped around the drills. 
and the toolkit, uh, and it seems to have arrived just fine. Again, I'll know more when I'm doing the canvas, but for right now, I don't see an issue with the way it was packaged. I love the ones that are packaged individually like this uh, with the DMC codes on them. So, yep, they will get the point for that. Everything was included. Like I said, the toolkit, the drills, the canvas, everything was included. So they will get the point for that. Uh, the glue condition. Like I said, I don't see any bubbles. I don't see any ripples. Um, I don't see anything that would cause me to be worried about the glue on this. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the point for that. What I'm going to actually end up doing is taking this off and covering it with the five by five parchment squares just because I don't like, I don't like the opaque cover. <clears throat> and it doesn't have rivers and stuff in it now and I'm, I'd prefer it not to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the five by five squares on it. I'll link the, the five by five squares that I use myself in the, in the description down below, but I will cover it with that. <clears throat> I am so sorry. My voice is just going weird. Um, I will cover it with that and then hang it up in the closet until it's time to be done. Anyway, um, canvas condition is fine. There's no hard creases. It's not cheap and flimsy. It's, it's an, actually a decent canvas. So they'll get the point for that, the point for the glue, the drills. Like I said, if I could get a really good, really, really good view of especially the black ones. Um, while Taylor and I were picking them up, I was looking at them. It's where I usually find the trash, the knobbly bits, the the paint in the ass drills are usually in the black. Uh, and I didn't see any. Everything looks, looks really good. So they will get the point for the drills. The symbols, are they clear and easy to read? Yes, they are. So they will get the point for that. Overall, am I impressed? First impression of everything. The way it was packaged, the way it is, the way it looks, the way the drills are, the way the canvas is. I really wish they would split this paper because one big sheet's a pain in the butt. But yeah, I'm impressed. As of right now, um, I would say go check them out. I will leave the link to this canvas down below. Uh, if you've dealt with with these people before, let me know. Let me know what your experience with them is. I'm curious. I am curious to know if anybody else has dealt with them. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I will answer those to the best of my ability as I have time. Uh, thank you all for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, just thought I'd pop in real quick, show you exactly what I do with this. So it didn't have a, an inventory sheet, so I made copies of the key like this. And then I cut it off, ran it through my Xyron sticker maker, so these will all be stickers now to go on my, on my containers. I stored it in here. Put the thing Eagle Sunrise number 349 and I'll put this this thing of stickers in there and then this will be stored in the basket that I have up over there and these are the five by five parchment paper things so when I cover one of these up I literally just take these out and now so I'm back Taylor came back in because I was bored and I wanted to say hi to you guys and then I'll overlap it just a little bit on this one. 
These don't have to be perfect. No. They don't have to be perfect, though. I just stick them on here. Rub them down. Does my mom watch our videos? I don't know, sweetheart. And then we can do it this way. Oh, yeah. She might watch it. You don't want to do that. And, as you can tell, we are almost done. halfway through. Well, we're a little, probably a little over halfway, right at halfway. Can I done with these? No, Taylor. Okay. Um, over in my Facebook group, if you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I am taking questions for a an upcoming whip and chat where you can ask me any question you want to and I will answer it link to the Facebook group is down below if you don't have Facebook or you don't feel like being in the group hey no problem I get it there's a lot of Facebook groups um, you can email it to me email me your question my emails also in the description box down below always always What's up? And it's kind of a hard one. Okay. Why do Why do you unbox them but never do them? What am I doing right there? What's on the desk right behind you? A dragon. Right, so that's a painting, right? Okay. What's on the coffee table upstairs that I was working on earlier tonight? Uh, I was playing the backup. Diamond painting, right? So I do them, but I can't do all of them at once. What if you had 10,000 hands? Would you? No, that would be awkward, but I'd get one done really fast or I'd end up tied up in a knot. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so just like that. This canvas is covered with parchment paper squares. Okay, could always, always find more. More diamond paintings or parchment paper squares? Well, that, and as I take these off, I just put them back in the box. They're reusable. They're, I, it's not a one time and throw them away. They're reusable. So I'll put a link to that. And then I'll hang this up in the, right here and right here by a little pants hanging clothes hangers that I have. Um, I'll put a link to those, to those, to the Zyron sticker maker all in the description box below. But that is how I store the canvases that come with the opaque covers um, that I might have some concern over. As you can see, this one is straightening out nicely. Okay, that's all I wanted. Just wanted to pop back in and say bye. See you in the next one.